Hello again, Dan from Novice No Longer, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through plugins and show kind of what's available for you and how to install new plugins. Now, you remember from the second video in this series, we already installed a few plugins, and I didn't really explain what was going on at the time. We just kind of did the process because those were the second video is all of the essential things you need to do with every single fresh WordPress install. But this time I'm gonna kind of take a step back, slow down and walk you through the process of plugins. So WordPress has a ton of plugins and the best way to think about a plugin is like apps. So you have a smartphone and then you download apps for your smartphone and it kind of extends what your smartphone can do, whether that's play games, connect to Facebook, a lot of different things. WordPress, the blogging site or the, the CMS has a lot of additional features that you can add just by installing a little plugin. And on the wordpress.org official website, they have a ton, a ton, ton, ton of different plugins for you to look and choose. So this is the main page, it's wordpress.org slash plugins. And you can see the top ones. We already have Jetpack installed. BB Press is going to be turning your website into a forum. So if you want to have like a public forum, like you would go online and a bunch of people posting, you can do that with BB Press and it actually turns your WordPress website into a forum. Buddy Press basically turns your website into a social network. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated. There's a bit of a learning curve, but that is available to you. And if you just install that plugin and set it up, you'll be able to have users. Users can create profiles. They can connect to other profiles and it, it acts kind of like a social network. Uh, WordPress Super Cache, we actually already have this one installed. Uh, theme Check, there's, there's a bunch of different ones that you can do. So you can kind of browse plugins here. Uh, let's say we want to do something with, let's see, MailChimp. Let's say we have a newsletter with MailChimp and we want to kind of integrate things here. We can search for MailChimp and you can see all of the different plugins that are available as well as ratings how many ratings there are and how many stars. I don't actually browse anything on the plugin directory though, because if you want to install something directly from the plugin directory, you actually have to like download it and then save it somewhere safe and then upload it or do FTP. It's really complicated. Instead, WordPress lets you do it directly in WordPress. So let's go back to our uh, CMS, our backend. This is the dashboard. We're going to go to plugins. Let's go to add new. And you might recognize this from the second video. Let's do the same thing. Searching for MailChimp. Great. Now it has this details button, which allows you to click here, have a description right here, and also warning this plugin has not been tested with the current version of WordPress. So that's kind of be wary of that. You can see the installation instructions, all the latest updates, screenshots if they have it, so you kind of get an understanding of what it looks like, how it works, and then there's a single button for install now. Now let's see, WooCommerce, okay. MailChimp for WordPress, it's gotten five stars. That's great, let's see, details. Based on 208 ratings, ooh, so this is probably a really good one. Let's take a look at screenshots. Awesome, so this looks like something we might wanna do. So let's install this. Awesome, now it's installed. You'll notice that it automatically brings you to a page that says activate or go to plugin installer. Usually I just press activate because if I've installed something, I wanna immediately use it. But let's go real quick to installed plugins because installed is different than activated. So these are the plugins that we have right now. And you'll notice that these are all kind of like a blue shade and they have a blue line right here, except for one. And that's MailChimp for WordPress Lite. And that's the one that we just installed. So installing it just means it's gonna show up on this list and then you can activate it and deactivate it as needed. So this is now installed. I'm gonna complete the process by pressing activate plugin here because that's what I usually do. And then it reloaded the page and you'll see that now it's blue. It has a line here. It is activated and going. So 
Fortunately, this has a settings button right here. They don't always do that. Sometimes you have to go to settings and find it here. This one actually adds a new menu item right here. So it's also MailChimp settings and that's all gonna bring you to the same place. So let's go to MailChimp settings. Great, your API key, you're gonna be able to get that in your MailChimp account. So you enter that in. Then you basically use this menu to customize everything. And depending on what your plugin does, it's gonna have a varying amount of settings. You'll remember here, one of them that we used was under construction. This has very, very few settings, either on or off. And then you can do custom text here. Another one is going to be XML sitemap, which we set up earlier. You don't need to do anything with this. All you gotta do is install it and you're good. Update options and it's, it's gonna be working in the background and every time you update your site, it's gonna just do what you need to do. So depending on what the plugin is, you're gonna be using it more or less, but there are a lot of different plugins available to you. And I highly suggest doing some reading uh, just go on Google and being like, what are the best plugins to use? Or if you need a social media plugin, kind of do that Googling. Be aware of Google search results because a lot of times the search results aren't the best simply because people can kind of game the search results and so they get kind of spamming stuff to the top. So make sure that whatever you do with WordPress, you're never downloading something off of somebody's website and then installing it, you're going through the official plugin uh, area. So if you read about an amazing plugin that you wanna try, go to plugins, add new, and then search for the name and install it directly here. That'll ensure that you're not getting any malware or any viruses on your blog, which can be very bad. So that's a brief uh, explainer of plugins, how to find them, how to install them, and they will add so many new features to your website or blog.